Uh, to continue pointing at the uh, suspected uh, Centaur impact point, even though the uh, the shepherding spacecraft will be impacting a couple of kilometers away. This is the last minute uh, before the shepherding spacecraft also impacts the surface of the moon, and the last minute of flight. We're watching the remaining few seconds of uh, the LCROSS mission as we uh, approach very rapidly the surface of uh, the Cabeus crater. Mark, transition to DV mode. Flight, NIR-2, OPR change request, NIR-2 to OPR-10, over. Is that November? NIR-2 to OPR-10. Yes, confirm. Ten. November. Ready. Command flight send, November, IR-2 to OPR-10. Command send. Flight payload, confirm receipt of command. Copy, payload. These are the by for shepherding spacecraft impact. The very last seconds of the uh, shepherding spacecraft trajectory as it approaches the lunar surface. We are seeing very small craters within the we, crater. We confirm a thermal signature of the crater in our mid-air cameras. Over. Copy science. We just All received flight shepherding s spacecraft impact stations report LOS. The uh, ground stations at Goldstone just reported Last a Last track is 11.35.35.054 seconds. The shepherding spacecraft has hit the surface of the moon, and this marks the end of the LCROSS uh, flight mission. Okay, some smiles and some congratulations right there. You can see some people watching that, uh, that uh, unprecedented experiment by NASA there, crashing two uh, pieces of equipment into the moon to try to find out if, in fact, there is frozen molecular water in the moon. Uh, and that's something that uh, NASA scientists were hoping to find out about that. We'll, of course, have more details on this. You want to keep it on your NBC station for the latest on this unprecedented lunar mission. Meantime, a stunning surprise announcement from Oslo, Norway this morning, President Barack Obama has won the 2009 Nobel Peace Prize. According to the Nobel Committee, the